Hi guys, welcome to another Tech Room video. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the new PRS system for the IF14 2 car and the basic steps you want to do to uh, set it up. So we start to take off the rear tires. And you take your uh, setup tools in the rear. What I start with is to set the camber in the rear. I usually run uh, two degrees. This and this is good. Then we check the your static toe, what it's uh, basically under pressure when, when you put the setup setup system on. So adjust the static toe to two point five. Two point five. Two point five. That is basically, you can adjust, of course, the, you can adjust the static toe, what you want, 2.5, 3 degrees, 3.5. But this is the two things you start with. And then basically the most important part is uh, your angle of the rear uh, uh, turnbuckles. So this is the most important part, the, how much uh, shims you use on the upright in the rear. So let's say you use one millimeter, you will have less angle of the rear turnbuckle and less gain in your uh, toe in. Uh, so for example, if you remove this to uh, 0.5 millimeter or uh, no shims at all, you will have more angle on this uh, turnbuckle, which will create more toe in. And this will help, help of course, with uh, on power traction out of the corner when you go on the gas, you will have basically more traction. You will also feel you will gain a little bit steering when you're on the brakes or into the corner because the rear. Uh, toe angle will open up a little bit as the move the car shifts to the front. So this is uh, can be a very good uh, uh, setup tool to use. A uh, nice option to have. Uh, we used it in the Reed race last year with great result. And uh, basically, I use it on a very low bite, uh, low bite to medium tracks. Also, depend a little bit of the layout. But uh, this is a very good uh, option to have and uh, please try it out and uh, let me know what you think. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.